Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this circuit and for the given circuit, we have been asked to find the required value of the C for the sinusoidal oscillation of 2 kHz frequency. So if you look this circuit, then it seems like a vane bridge oscillator, right? So if you have followed my video on the vane bridge oscillator, then we have seen that for the vane bridge oscillator, the frequency of oscillation F0 can be given as 1 divided by 2 pi times square root of r1 times r2 times c1 times c2. So here these r1 and r2 are 1 kilo ohm while we need to find the value of c. So here since r1 is equal to r2 and c1 is equal to c2 so we can write this expression as f0 is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi times rc. So by choosing the value of R and C, we can get the oscillation of particular frequency. But for any oscillator, to get a sustained oscillation, the one condition should get fulfilled. That means for the oscillator, this A beta should be slightly less than 1, where this beta is the feedback fraction and A is the gain of the amplifier. So for the Wayne bridge oscillator, we have seen that whenever this R1 is equal to R2, and C1 is equal to C2 at that time, this feedback fraction beta is equal to 1 by 3, where this beta is equal to this V plus divided by V out, where this V plus is the voltage which is appearing at this non inverting terminal. So, for this Wayne bridge oscillator, to get the sustained oscillation, this value of A should be slightly greater than 3. That means the gain of the amplifier should be slightly greater than 3. So, in this case, the gain of this amplifier is equal to 1 plus this R4 divided by R3 because this op-amp is configured in the non-inverting configuration where this R4 is equal to 1.9 kilo ohm and this R3 is equal to 1 kilo ohm. That means here the gain is equal to 2.9 and since the gain is less than 3 so we will not get the sustain oscillation. That means here since A beta is less than 1. So irrespective of the value of C, we will not get any sustained oscillations. But suppose if this A beta is greater than 1, in that case, with the help of this equation, for a 2 kilohertz oscillation, we can find the value of C. But with the given configuration, we will not get any oscillations. And hence, for the given equation, this, this is the correct answer.